Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. If it's your first time here, do me a favour and click that subscribe link down below. It really helps me out and then you won't miss anything in future. So in the last video you saw me visit my friend Tim who runs Corbin Discus. And the reason I was doing that was because I had won a raffle on his Facebook group. He holds a raffle, everyone chips in £5 a ticket and then you get some credit to spend at his shop. It's not really a shop, it's a business he runs from home. Um, but I won, uh, so that was the reason that I went along there and got to do the filming last week. But a lot of you have asked me in the comments, so what did you buy? So let's have a look at that today. I know you don't ship fish, but this is something I've always struggled with, is bagging fish. Even for shop dummies. Any tips? <laughs> um, don't be scared. I have numerous showers every day with these. It, it's the bagging bit that gets me. Trying to get the oxygen in the bag at the top. Well, it? I used to use oxygen. Um, I no longer do. I find because I don't ship fish, and most of my customers are reasonably local, yeah. I've not found the need, and I've never ever had any issues. I think it's my elastic banding technique I need to work on. There she is. So. People ask me what, what do I do or what should they do when they first put the fish in the tank. Yeah. I'm a great believer personally of the way I do it is I put my hand in the bag so the fish lays flat in my hand and put it in the tank straight away. And then very often it's not a problem at all. I think you can be too precious about actually putting them yes. back in the tanks, they're climatizing and I'm a big believer in the flop and drop I call it. I agree. You spend half an hour trying to acclimatise them and you're just making them more and more stressed. Absolutely. Okay, let's have a look in the box. So, don't know if you saw them going into the bags, but. Not that long a trip from Tim's, so hopefully reducing the stress. Two good sized fish there. So, I'll do my usual acclimation piece where I'll take them in, I'll put them in the tank they're going into in their bags, uh, let them float there for 15 20 minutes, get the temperature up, and then plop and drop. So well, let's have a look at that. So I'm going to do my normal plop and drop method, get this out of the bag, dipping in 15-20 minutes, the water's temperature's the same, I'm going to get them out of this dirty water, cut the bag open, 
I see it's actually water, but only because they were polluted it themselves. Sure, Tim's water's pristine. Get them in there, get them in the net, and put them straight in. Shape. Straight in the tank. Number two. Let's get your buddy out. Can't do the aquarium co op thing of snapping the rubber bands off. Quite as skillfully, I'll stick to the scissors. And there's the other guy. Oh, I can't tell if that's the male or the female. Not yet. There we are, we're in. That's them having just been dropped in seconds ago. Lovely shape and lovely colours, and they'll colour up even more than this. Still a bit of stress from travelling, they're only in there a few seconds. But lovely fish. I'm very happy! These two in the tanks, when I was looking for them, were already pecking together and doing runs and showing mating signs. So they're unconfirmed, they're not a confirmed pair, they're not sold as a pair. Uh, just got high hopes that they might become a pair. So watch this space. Right, it's been, what, two or three days now since I uh, put the new discus in. I forgot to say actually they're Martin Ng Ong or NG, depending how you say it. They are Royal Sapphires, they're called. Um, all discus feeders have their own names for things. Um, so, what's a Royal Sapphire somewhere might be called something else somewhere else, so don't worry about the names too much. But yeah, I thought I'd just have a look at them. They've coloured up a little bit more and they've started eating, which is always good, so let's have a look at them. They're getting a lot more used to being in the fish room. This is just a temporary tank um, for quarantine. Make sure that they're happy. If they do start displaying pairing signs, they will probably end up in that tank. I'm just not entirely sure where I'll put it. Um, but yeah, they're really happy. They're interested in me when I come in the room. I think they've started to associate me with feeding. I get more confident with food. I'll just put in a little bit of food now. The water level's quite low because I've been just giving their tank a bit of a clean out. So they might be a bit spooked by that, I suppose. But yeah, they're, look how bright their eyes are. I'm not sure how well this is coming across in the camera, but the blue that's coming off them, it's a bit special. So yes, these are doing really well. I'll keep them in here for a few weeks and then decide where I want to go put them. I'm, I'm hoping that they are a pair, but like I say, they're not a confirmed pair or anything like that. But we'll see how we get on with them. If they do start to pair up, I'll put them in that bigger tank and maybe put them in my office. Or... I don't know. Not sure where to put them yet. Um, if I have a quick look around the rest of the fish room. Up here, I'm just starting to convert all these smaller tanks. Got rid of all the betas, and now they're going to be either snail or shrimp tanks. So this one, for instance, that's got a load of baby snails in it. Uh, and the glass is really clean. This one, full of algae, no, just put the snails in there. So in a week's time, that tank should look like that tank. Um, but yeah, some of them have still got guppies and stuff in, shrimp in, so that, the plan is that that will just be shrimp and snails breeding. Snails primarily for the puffer fish to eat. Uh, down here is another algae growing tank. There's a theme here, I'm really good at growing algae. 
Um, but yeah, I've got a few rainbows left over in here. Possibly going to get some more of them and try them out with the discus. See if I can find a, a happy compromise temperature-wise for them. Because I think they're really quite special. I love the colours of the Bosmani. Um, just cleaning this tank out now, so it's a bit cloudy, but that's the baby bristle nose tank. Up here, kind of empty, it's just got the remnants of the snails in it. Crobensis. Getting down to the last few, hopefully no more babies so as I can get rid of them all. I think I've had just about enough of Crobensis for the time being. And then, of course, over here, we have the little puffer fish. Still unnamed. Still awesome. He's doing really well. And I've got the angel fish in here for the moment as well. So far, so good. No problems between the two of them. And then maybe under there you can just about see the end of the black ghost knife fish. Uh, but anyway, got the guppy tanks down there. I think I want to reorganise the fish room, but I've not really got the plan right in my head of how I want to do that. Maybe go back into breeding discus again properly. We'll see. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Just wanted to give you an update on these guys. As always, click that button down below, subscribe so you don't miss any more updates, and thank you again for watching. See you next time.